This next recipe is based off of something I definitely consider a comfort food, garlic and oil pasta. This one has a couple of interesting ingredients though. First, what we need to do is get a pot of water boiling for our linguine. Then what we wanna do is we're going to toast one cup of pine nuts. And I just use a small frying pan, dry with nothing in it over really low heat. While our pine nuts toast and our water comes to a boil, we're going to slice eight to 10 cloves of garlic. Now let's get our pan hot so we can saute the garlic. And I would say to be over medium heat. You wanna slowly heat your garlic and get it a little golden and, and fragrant. And I usually use about a quarter of a cup of olive oil and just sort of add more if I need to. So you really wanna get a lot of oil in the pan here. Okay, and now we'll put in our garlic. And we'll mix it around, spread it out. And I'm really starting to smell those pinoli nuts, so I'm gonna just shake them around and make sure they're browning evenly. And they are looking fantastic. So now I'm just gonna turn off the heat. Our water is to a boil. As soon as your water comes to a boil, you wanna salt it. This is gonna be, this is your only opportunity really to salt your pasta. And I'm gonna make this entire pound of whole wheat linguine because leftovers are absolutely amazing. Okay, and we're just gonna stir it in. Make sure it gets all in there. And now that we've got our garlic all sauteing, I'm going to add about a teaspoon of crushed red pepper flake. Let's keep mixing this around. And I think I might, in fact, add a little bit more olive oil. And in the meantime, let's chop up some parsley. It's a nice splash of color. Because we're not just eating with our mouth, we're eating with our eyes, too. Okay, and I'm just gonna pile this up nice and neat. It's been about 12 minutes. My pasta is ready to be drained and put in with the sauce. There it goes. All right. And I don't want to shake out too much water, just a little bit. Okay, that's pretty good. Now I plop it into my pan with my garlic and oil. That's the thing. And now I'm just going to toss it around and get it nicely coated with that olive oil and garlic. I've got that going for me. Now I pour on my pine nuts. And I grab this whole bunch of parsley and toss it around again. That looks pretty good to me. And now I'm just gonna grab my special topping. Now it's time to plate it up. A little extra spoonful of goodness on top there. And now, a little special touch, just about a tablespoon or so of the Fontina cheese. Goes right on top. And there we've got it. Whole wheat linguine with garlic and oil and some toasted pine nuts.